Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also gonna get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're gonna do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely, our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down, you'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. The state of Mississippi has yet another problem. Now, it has been discovered that there have been 215 bodies buried behind a Hines County jail in Mississippi. Now, originally, it was thought to be only a few of them, right? I did a story not too long ago about a brother named Dexter Wade who was hit by a police officer, off-duty police officer in his car, um, and they, for whatever reason, took Mr. Wade and buried him without notifying his family at all. And then his family was notified sometime later after his mother went looking all over for him and all kind of stuff, right? Well, uh, civil rights attorney Benjamin Crump has gotten involved in the situation and is asking for an investigation as to what is going on. Now, specifically, he said this. People all across America are scratching their heads in disbelief about what's happening in Jackson, Mississippi with the pauper's graveyard. It also went on to say it went from talking about the water that was non-existent or contaminated to now we're talking about the graveyard. What is going on in Jackson, Mississippi? And I want to know too, what is going on in Jackson, Mississippi? Well, y'all know that it is in the South, right? Like the, the real, real South. And Jackson is considered to be one of the poorest uh, cities in the nation, of course, in Mississippi. And we know that black people have it extremely rough there as Jackson, as I understand, is about 83 to 85% black residents. Well, so again, they, for whatever reason, are not notifying people that their loved ones have been killed, or died or whatever, and they're just burying them. So I guess we're trying to figure out who is this they? Who is burying the uh, people behind this specific jail? Is it the jailers, the sheriff? Who are like, who is doing this? And it's also said that in this particular graveyard, there's only a metal rod with a number, I guess to indicate who may be under there or that somebody is under there. And so one of the pastors that's involved in it, uh, Hosea Hines, he said this. It really saddens my heart to know that their relatives went that long, some over a year, not knowing if their loved one was dead or alive and then coming to the realization that they have been buried in a pauper's grave behind a jailhouse. If they had been properly notified, they would have been able to pay their proper respect. Uh, yeah, but again, and I agree with all of that, but why are they being buried there? What's going on? Are, are they being taken out nefariously? Like what's going on? And in all fairness, Benjamin Crump says he doesn't know why um, or what's happened to those people, whether it's some racism or what, they don't know it's unknown at this time, but you know, 215 people, are they all black? Are they mostly black? Which I would think that they are being that the uh, population there in Jackson, Mississippi is majority black people. Cause it wasn't just Dexter Wade. It was another uh, gentleman who was also buried and his mother family found out, you know, that something happened to him after they'd been looking all over. Now, of course the authorities are saying, well, we put a card on your door or we called you and you didn't answer. It's like, come on now, I, surely, you know, somebody's looking for their relative. Yeah, they would know that you called if you indeed call, right? You're not going to just gloss over that message or the card on the door and all that other stuff. So something tells me that, you know, especially if they're black, eh, we'll just bury them, just throw them behind the, the jail 
Um, and we'll just keep it pushing. But yeah, they're going to have to answer as to why 215 bodies have been buried there. And my thing is this. Are the feds going to get involved? Joe Biden? Kamala? DOJ? Somebody? Are y'all going to get involved? Are you going to go put some boots on the ground there and see what's going on there in, in Jackson? Y'all going to see why 215 people, sounds like maybe predominantly black, have been buried without their families notified for over a year? That don't sound like an, a normal occurrence. You ask me. It sounds like there's some racism involved. Because what if it was a bunch of white people? First of all, they wouldn't even be buried back there in the first place. They go and do everything they can to go notify their families. But imagine if it was a bunch of white people buried back there. You only know that, a, a, you know, the fans and everybody else would have gotten involved. We need to get down to the bottom of, you know, why they're there. But what if it was 215 migrants? If, if they get down to the bottom of that and everybody, because of course now, you know, the migrants is a hot ticket item. So everybody wants to be on the forefront. They go and try to find out what happened to these poor people, you know. But when it's black people, it's like, ah, you know, I guess we'll figure it out one day. And that's the other thing. I want to kind of admonish our people a little bit because uh, I've been talking about this story, but I've seen it a lot on TikTok and social media about, hey, why aren't people talking about this? Why aren't people involved or even care about this story? And I think it's a darn good question. Why don't we care? Why don't we only care about things that are, you know, kind of low hanging fruit and all that other stuff? You know, potentially these are all of our people that are buried behind that jail. We should be raising the roof. We should be ringing the alarm. Hey, something is not right here with all of our people. Not all of them, but 215 people. That's a lot of people. Even if it was just one, but 215 people buried behind there and we barely talking about it. We don't share it. We, you know, talk about what are all these celebrities and all these other people doing, but we don't talk about the everyday, you know, black man and potentially black woman that's back there behind that jail with their family wondering for over a year where they are. We don't care or want to know why they're not telling these people. Cause I, okay, I give the, the authorities or whoever bearing those people, one or two people, we couldn't contact them. 215, y'all ain't contacting they folks for over a year. Mm-mm. As all the people say, something in the milk ain't clean. So I'm with Benjamin Crump and Pastor Hines down there. We need to get down to the bottom of it because something is going on and it ain't good. So in the meantime, y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here.